right, so I have something really exciting to share. I just launched these stickers on my Etsy store. And the reason why I don't have footage of me making these is because the whole production process took less than two days. Um, that has been the fastest rate of me like turning out designs, like drawing into stickers. So I really didn't get a chance to stop and film the process. Everything happened so quickly. I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. They are inspired by nugget puns. Um, so the first one is a nugget hugging you. And it says, sometimes you just need a nug. <laughs> it's so cute. And the next one is the nug life chose me. And it's a thug nug with the um, shades and a little bandana tied around its head that that was pretty cute and my favorite one is this nugget bathing in a sauce cup it says dipping in finesse and that's so cute i love this one so these are now available on my etsy store they are two by two inches and this one is two by three inches i believe um but they're all about roughly the same size and I'm really, really proud of myself for turning out these stickers in such a short amount of time. Um, the fact that it took only two days, whereas all my other stickers took me at least like a week or two. Um, I guess it just shows that I'm quickly learning how to print my own stickers. I'm getting better and faster. So I'm saving up a lot of time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just really proud of myself. <laughs> All right, so I just finished this drawing. It's a clear milk carton with pink milk and cherry blossoms and petals and little bubbles and it has a cute cherry beside it. Um, I thought this was pretty fitting since it's the spring and all the cherry blossom trees are blossoming. Let's try test printing and see how it comes out. All right, so I imported the sticker into my Cricut design space. Let's shrink it down. I think a two by two would look good. Okay, so I just printed my first set of stickers. And by the way, this isn't my sticker paper. This is on a plain, um, just regular paper. This is what I like to print with um, when I'm test printing so that I'm not wasting any of my materials. Usually when I test print, I'm just testing for the size, how the color turns out. Yeah, so no lamination, no sticker paper, just regular paper. And I'm going to feed it into the Cricut machine and see how it comes out. I'm actually pretty happy with the cut. The ones on the right could have been cut a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the outline for the stickers on the right, the top part's a little bit thin compared to the bottom. So I think when I align the paper, I just need to be a little bit more cautious to do it accurately. But this actually looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and print it out on real sticker paper laminate it and feed it into the Cricut machine to see how it comes out as a final product. Okay. Just make sure before you put on your lamination sheet, there's absolutely nothing between the sticker sheet in the lamination that's about to go on because this is like putting on what, what's that called the glass protector on your iPhone if there's a little bit of dust there's going to be an air bubble so you want to avoid that at all costs so just make sure there's nothing okay and I found a trick to this um, so you want to start off with this tab that you take off. Um, this basically helps you guide your lamination paper. 
so that it doesn't go on crooked. And then you flip it over and you pe start peeling a little bit off here. And then you're gonna slowly, very slowly press down so you start getting that traction. And instead of using a plastic squeegee, um, the issue with using plastic squeegee is, is that you're going to probably scratch the lamination. So what you want to do is either use a squeegee with the cloth over it, or what I found helpful is use a ball of cloth. That can be like any like any clothing article that you don't use. Firm it up into a ball and then apply pressure on it like so. Okay, so this sticker sheet is all ready to go. Um, before I feed it into the Cricut machine, I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison with um, sticker paper that's laminated versus a regular paper. Um, so when I test print, like I mentioned, I do it on regular paper. Um, I don't know if you can see, let me focus. When you test print, you'll notice that on regular paper, the design comes out pretty grainy, the color's desaturated, it doesn't look very vibrant. But don't worry because once you use sticker paper, you'll notice that the quality goes up a lot. You'll notice, you'll definitely notice the difference. The color is more vibrant first off and you don't see that graininess that you do on regular paper. And obviously once you put in the lamination, you get that glossy finish. So when you're test printing, just keep that in mind. Don't be so worried when it, when you feel like your design's coming out grainy because it won't translate like that on sticker paper. It, the quality will be a lot better. This is the moment of truth. Oh no. No. I may have to recalibrate my cricket. Oh, thank God. This set came out so much better. I don't know what happened to the previous one. some quality check on these stickers. Unfortunately, I could only get, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five. So less than half of my first sheet came out looking okay. Luckily, the second set came out so much better. So in total, I have 20 good stickers wow. and a pile of bad stickers, a lot of them, but that's okay. I have 20 good ones. Uh, so it's currently nighttime, so I can't do my product shots, so I'm going to wait until tomorrow morning to do that. Uh, but I've done all my quality checks. All these stickers look good and they're ready to be listed on my Etsy store. I put the sticker on my laptop just for fun and it looks so cute. <laughs> Guys. Okay, sorry, I look rough, but it's currently 9.27. I have three minutes before my scrub meeting starts. I went outside and picked some cherry blossoms and I'm using them as props for today's product shot. And I have my whole setup here going on. So I laid it out against a blue backdrop 
and I used my green journal kind of as a pop of color and I laid all the cherry blossoms and petals. That's my time to go. Welcome to the meeting. Press one to be connected to your meeting. I just came back from Target. I went on a snack run because I was running really low on snacks. I grabbed some hot Cheetos, hot fries, and I grabbed a bag of high chews. Um, so I recently thought of this idea. I really wanted to up my packaging and like the unboxing experience for my customers. I thought of including a candy in each of the orders. The reason why I chose Haichu, it's Asian, I like me. <laughs> and it comes in these individual packaging, so it's not going to destroy the order, like just in case it melts. Um, and I'm thinking of putting it in my used candle jar. So I got this idea from TikTok. Basically, if you pour hot water into your um, used candle like the wax will lift and you can clean it out and reuse it as a jar which is genius let's try pouring water into this thing and clean it out excited to see how it goes hi Sydney if I'm supposed to let it sit for a bit. Ooh, it's hot! Ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be back. All right, I was being dumb. Don't be like me and don't try to scrape it off or stir it out. Um, what's gonna happen is the hot water is gonna melt the wax and as the wax is melting, it's gonna float to the top. Do you see those little bubbles? That's wax melting. Um, yeah, so just put hot water, let it sit, do its thing, and come back maybe like 5-10 minutes later. So as you can see, the wax has floated to the top. It's completely clear water at the bottom. And those are just the wicks, um, or the wick stands that are um, still at the bottom because it's too heavy to float. Look at this. <gasps> How easy was that? Now I have a clean jar. This is so cool. I'm never throwing out candle jars again. Look! I filled it up with high chews. Yum! And this is for you guys. When you put in an order, I'll include one high chew in your package. So yeah, I love candy, so why not share the love with you guys? Yay!